I, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Dear esteemed, honorable, and noble viewer, as well as notable viewer, as in your name has been notated within the book of life. This is not a time. This is not a time, excuse me, for wavering. This is not a time for indecision. This is a time that demands clarity, courage, and resolute commitment to our own evolution and that of the world around us. This is a monumental time. Please, right now, I want you to join me in this great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to the earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the narcissistic egos of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. Namaste, namaskaram. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. The signs of transformation are clear. Everything is accelerating. The very vibrations and frequencies of our dimensions, of this dimension, this harmonic universe, number one, this third dimension, are undergoing a profound metamorphosis, a grand transformation. Time as we know it is speeding up. And the events on the world stage, World War III and all that, it's all speeding up. It's all part of this grand plan, this initiation, this time of transformation. But time, as we know it, is speeding up. Or more precisely, it's collapsing in the, in the sense, the linear sense of time, collapsing along with everything else of the third dimension. And I want you to understand the word light, the word dimension, all of these, I guess, uh, somewhat could be abstract metaphysical terms i want to i want you to understand right now i want you to make the connection that light is energy light is vibrations of energy and i want you to understand all of this about dimensions the light is increasing and all of this i want you to understand it is conterminous with the the schumann resonance and this is a very scientific um uh, phrase the schumann resonance but i want you to understand the time as we know it has been speeding up and, and it is proven it, very real uh, bit of demonstrable science that the human resonance is often referred to the earth's human resonance or the, 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 the heartbeat of the earth is known as the Schumann resonance. And for centuries, for millennia, it maintained a steady rate of 7.83 cycles per second. And now this frequency this Schumann resonance, resonant, uh, frequent, resonant frequency of 7.83 cycles per second, it was so dependable that even the military used it as a reference point. But since the grand harmonic convergence, which I believe took place in 1987, which was the same year I graduated high school, but anyway, the Schumann resonance, since 1987, this grand harmonic convergence, something extraordinary has been happening. And I want you to understand that when the, you hear, read the word light, the light, you know, invocation of the light, this is what the Schumann resonance and this, and this is what the energies and the dimensional, the elevations of the dimensions are all about. This is conterminous with the rising of the Schumann resonance, which for centuries was 7.83 cycles. So, so dependable that even the military used it as a reference point. But now, and it's been gradually increasing since the grand harmonic convergence in 1987. It's been increasing and now it exceeds 12 cycles to the second. And some days it's, it's beyond that up to like 40 cycles. There's spikes in the Schumann resonance. The science is out there. There's 
there's uh, channels on YouTube where you can go and look all this up, people reporting on it constantly. But what this means in a very real way that time is collapsing is that instead of 24 hours a day, now it's been compressed to like 16 hours a day because it's all conterminous with the cycle of the planet, which has been rising. And as we rise in our consciousness, we rise in our metahuman status and we will embrace this new epoch, this transformation of cosmic proportions. And in, in the face of this acceleration, though, we're all being tested. We are all having to uh, confront the turbulence of the uh, world stage and all that. But I want you to understand. I want you to understand why this is very important, because the grand design, the, the design of the cosmic intelligence, which is what we call God. But those of you who choose to remain, who choose to walk this path, this path of the rising of the metahuman must carry the torch of light. But this torch of light, keep in mind, this is not a metaphor. I'm talking about if you imbibe, indwell the energies of the light, it is within you. The kingdom of heaven is within you to uphold the light. One must disengage from the current challenges that surround us. These challenges will persist. They are part of the cleansing process, a purification that is necessary for the rebirth of our world. And those who remain, those who carry the torch, are the pioneers of a new and different civilization. These tests that you're confronted with daily in your life are distractions, but you must overcome this. Because consider this, consider this, that each one of us is a microcosm of the universe. And our bodies contain the entire spectrum of existence. And if we can maintain inner peace and balance amidst the chaos of the world, then we pass the test. We become unshakable, resilient in the face of adversity. Dear esteemed viewer, the path to the new earth is illuminated by the light we carry within us. And this light is not a metaphor. It's a tangible energy. As I've demonstrated, as I've provided the energy, look up the Schumann resonance. This tangible energy, it's the peace and harmony that we create within our own beings. The events that are unfolding on the global stage, it's, it's about to kick into high gear. You see what's going on in the Middle East. This is not some random occurrences, okay? These are tests for every soul, for every soul inhabiting this earth. And the key lies in detachment from the sources of negativity, from the constant bombardment, <clears throat> excuse me, bombardment of fear and despair that television and newspapers often are delivering it into our dimensional energy, dimensional awareness. <clears throat> but our thoughts, our emotions, our very essence shape the world around us. And this is, this is so true. Uh, your inner reality is the outer reality. It's conterminous as above, so below, as within, so without. And I want you to understand that right now, right now, that light is being thrown into every dark place and there is nothing hidden which shall not be revealed. We are told by the Christ, the great Christ consciousness, that in this day, this Manvantara, this Kali Yuga, that human beings love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. But I want you to understand that people recognize that the present darkness and misery <clears throat> this is what is within. This is all reflected from within. But there are very real forces. Trust me, there are very real organized forces that are attempting to keep humanity at a certain low level of vibration. And it is our, it is our duty incumbent upon each of us to free the power of our I am presence because we are the light of the world and to reveal and to release past programming. And I'm telling you right now, the eclipse energy that this, this, we're in the eclipse corridor from now until the, uh, I mean, definitely till the 14th, I believe, when the actual uh, eclipse takes place. But all of these next couple of months, um, Pluto, retrograde, all that stuff, the darkness, everything, light is being thrown into every dark place. And there is nothing hidden which shall not be revealed. That includes within. But you must cleanse. You must purify within. You must reveal your own past and release past programming. Uh, this eclipse energy is powerful time to walk your new truth, that you are fully capable, a creative, that you are creative intelligence as a co-creative, masterful, I am presence of divine consciousness. You are a spark of the divine and you're ready to challenge prior beliefs. 
this world, this old paradigm of ex exclusionary, of separateness, no more. As each person creates their own heaven on earth, a ripple effect will ensue because the veil is thinning. The veil is about ripped off this past intense energy that shifts in your vibrational frequencies. They raise us to the next level. And it is through consciousness. The new earth is a state of consciousness and only heaven on earth is real. Only God is real. Only God within you and everyone else is real. So with every moment you can choose either fear, the illusion of fear, the narcissistic ego of separation or love. God, the choice as always is yours. You are well on your way. You are well on your way to the new earth as long as you rise in consciousness. You are well on your way to embracing the brilliance of a thousand suns. And so it is. Namaste. Namaskaram.